They doubted when Elon Musk said he would deliver an electric car for under $15,000. Some laughed, others ignored him, and many simply didn't believe it. But here we are, in 2026, facing Tesla's biggest turnaround since the launch of the Model S. The Model 2, now officially confirmed with a starting price of $14,999, is already changing the game even before it hits the streets. And the most surprising thing? It's not a stripped-down or experimental version. It's a complete Tesla, designed to be the electric car for the masses. A model that not only fulfills the promise of affordability, but redefines what is expected of an urban car on a global scale. The announcement was a bombshell in the automotive market. Expectations revolved around a $30,000 car, a number that already seemed aggressive. But Musk, always one step ahead, decided to cut that price in half. It wasn't just a marketing ploy. It was a clear demonstration that Tesla intends to dominate the entry-level segment with the same force with which it revolutionized the premium market. And to achieve this, the brand isn't playing around. Thousands of units will be manufactured per day, with production already prepared on the Giga Texas and Giga Mexico lines. This new model isn't just cheap, it's strategic. Tesla understood that to win the electric vehicle war, it wasn't enough to have the best cars. It was necessary to make them accessible to those who truly want to make the energy transition. Families, young people, retirees, urban workers, ordinary people. The Model 2 is designed to be that link between the technological future and real life, where budget is still a concern and range can't be a luxury. Expectations are so high that analysts predict sales will exceed those of the Model 3 and Model Y combined. And that's no small feat, considering that those two models are the world leaders in EV sales. But the Model 2 has an advantage that no other model has had. It's Tesla's first truly mass-market electric car. And that, in itself, is a milestone. It's not a niche product. It was designed to be ubiquitous, almost like a smartphone on wheels. It's curious to observe how, in less than a decade, what once seemed like a futuristic luxury has become a new standard of mobility. With the Model 2, this standard is scaling up. We're no longer talking about goals for 2030 or bold startup promises. We're talking about something tangible, concrete, with a set delivery date. And this urgency is generating a wave of pre-orders that threatens to deplete stock even before the first delivery. The reaction in the Asian market was practically instantaneous. In less than 24 hours after the official announcement of the Model 2, technology and mobility groups in China erupted in debate. And the most cited name, besides Elon Musk, was BYD. This is no coincidence. The Chinese automaker is, today, Tesla's biggest nightmare. With a line of affordable models starting in the US $12,000 range, BYD had been growing at an accelerated pace, dominating not only its home territory, but also expanding aggressively in Europe, Latin America, and Southeast Asia. For many, BYD was becoming the new standard for electric mobility. Until now, Elon Musk felt the impact of Chinese incursions. And when Tesla began to lose ground in sales volume, especially in its cheaper models, it became clear that it was time to react. But Musk doesn't play the same game. He changes the board. Instead of trying to compete with BYD on the same rules, he decided to rewrite the rules with the Model 2, a car made not only to compete on price, but to dominate in efficiency, design, software, and global scale. And that's what really scares the competitors. The war between Tesla and BYD has intensified to the point of becoming almost ideological. On one side, a philosophy centered on software, automation, and artificial intelligence. On the other, a business model based on volume, rapid manufacturing, and ultra-low costs. Tesla bets on experience and a long-term vision. BYD bets on speed and pragmatism. And now, with the Model 2, Elon Musk has brought to the battlefield a trump card
that could balance or even turn this game around. The difference is that while BYD has already shown its strengths, Tesla still has some tricks up its sleeve. The Model 2, despite having been announced, still has unrevealed technical details, creating an aura of mystery that fuels anticipation. And this is something Tesla knows how to use like no other. Musk himself has said that Tesla's true value lies not in the cars, but in the factory, in the way they are built. And it is precisely this logic of innovation in production that could put the Model 2 light years ahead of its rivals. When comparing Chinese models to the Tesla Model 2, one thing stands out. None of the competitors offer the complete package that Tesla promises to deliver. Yes, some BYD cars are cheaper, but how many of them come with an integrated autonomous driving system, satellite updates, direct integration into the Tesla ecosystem, global charging infrastructure, and AI optimization? That's what differentiates a temporary solution from a long-term revolution. The first glance at the Tesla Model 2 provokes an almost automatic reaction. Is this really a Tesla? The answer is yes and no. Yes, because it carries the essence of the brand with a striking visual identity. And no, because it completely breaks with what fans were used to seeing in previous models. The Model 2's design proposal is as different as it is bold. It doesn't try to look luxurious or make itself seem like a smaller version of something bigger. It wants to be new, unique, and straightforward, a compact urban hatchback made for the streets of the real world and which seems to have come straight from the future. Tesla opted for a design that blends minimalism with personality. Unlike the Model Y and Model 3, which still maintain more traditional curves and visual elements that evoke elegance, the Model 2 adopts a more geometric and clean line. And this new design didn't come about by chance. It was born from the need to produce faster, with fewer parts and less human intervention. The secret? The much-talked-about structure of Giga Casting Integrated, which eliminates dozens of components and allows for more efficient, precise, and cheaper manufacturing. One of the most discussed details in the leaked images was the removal of the front light bar, that detail that gave it a futuristic premium car look. Instead, the Model 2 features simple yet sharp headlights, positioned higher and with a design reminiscent of early Cybertruck concepts. This choice wasn't just aesthetic. It's all about cost cutting, aerodynamics, and a distinct identity. The new headlight is like a silent signal. You're looking at the first Tesla of a new era. This less is more approach is repeated throughout the exterior. The bodywork reduces curves, closes gaps, and softens transitions. Panels fit together with almost surgical precision, creating a clean, almost sculpted from a block look. Viewed from the side, the car appears compact and solid yet simultaneously fluid and fast. This simplicity is not an absence of design, it's design as essence. And that's where the Model 2 shines, by moving away from the idea of traditional luxury and embracing the concept of accessible technology. Another interesting point is how tailor-made this car seems for the urban environment. It's short, light, and has an agile look. There are no exaggerations or empty promises, the Model 2 was designed to take up little space, consume fewer resources, and still maintain the technological charm that has made Tesla a global benchmark. And best of all, it still manages to retain that visual touch that makes anyone say, it's a Tesla, even if it doesn't look like any other. While the exterior design breaks with convention, the Model 2's interior structure follows the same philosophy, practicality before spectacle. And we're not just talking about the cabin, we're talking about the car's construction itself, how each part was designed to function with less, last longer, and cost almost nothing extra. Many people believed the Model 2 would have some kind of eccentric door, perhaps even the famous Falcon Wings of the Model X in a compact version. But Elon Musk and his team took a more down-to-earth and, frankly, smarter approach. 
The Model 2 will come with a traditional four-door layout, no pyrotechnics or complicated solutions. The big difference is in the details. Optimized hinges, improved opening angles, fewer moving parts. All this reduces production costs, facilitates maintenance, and, as a bonus, improves the everyday user experience. Opening a door may seem trivial, but when it's designed to last longer, weigh less, and take up less space when opened, the simple becomes sophisticated. This choice was met with relief by many. Although exotic doors look cool on paper, or in commercials full of special effects, the truth is that they aren't practical in small garages, tight parking spaces, or busy streets. The Model 2 aims to be a car for everyone, and that requires sensible choices. And here, Tesla was sensible without being basic. There is, for example, noticeable care in the door finish, the ceiling rubbers, and the way they close. The feeling of solidity, even in a cheaper car, has been maintained. The same attention to detail can be seen in the car's structure. The use of Giga castings, those giant one-piece molds that form entire parts of the chassis, allows the car to be stronger, lighter, and cheaper to assemble. This means fewer welds, fewer points of failure, less noise and vibration. It's engineering as the foundation of experience. And this is reflected in everything, from sound insulation to suspension comfort, everything benefits from this more cohesive construction. Speaking of suspension, Tesla kept a simple but well-tuned setup. It's not sporty like in the Model S, nor soft like in a generic city car. It's firm enough to ensure safety, but comfortable enough to handle potholes and speed bumps without drama. This calibration was designed for urban drivers who face traffic, tight maneuvers, poorly constructed sidewalks, and, in many cases, long hours behind the wheel. The Model 2 aims to make this routine less tiring, more fluid. But it's when you get into the Model 2 that the less is more proposition becomes even more visible and controversial. Tesla made no secret of the fact that, to reach a price of your 14 919 Ds, some sacrifices would have to be made. And a good part of them are in the interior. It starts with the seats. Instead of the traditional vegan leather used in the Model 3 and Y, the Model 2 features durable fabric seats, cheaper, but which may not appeal to fans of premium finishes. Still, they are comfortable, well-stitched, and follow the pattern of functional simplicity that defines the entire project. The decision not to include heated seats also generated some buzz. In cold countries, this might seem like a step backward, but considering the goal of global accessibility, it makes sense. In many tropical or subtropical markets, this type of feature is practically irrelevant. And let's be honest, the Model 2's target audience is willing to forego some luxuries if it means saving a few thousand dollars. The same goes for the roof. No panoramic glass. Less natural light, yes, but also less weight, less cost, and more thermal insulation in hot climates. Another point that generated controversy was the reduction in sound insulation. Tesla opted to use single-pane glass instead of double laminated glass. This means the interior is a bit noisier, especially at higher speeds. But there's a technical argument for this. The Model 2 is designed for urban use, where external noise is less aggressive and average speeds are lower. And with the right sound in the audio system, much of that noise is lost. Oh, the sound system. Yes, it was also streamlined. Fewer speakers, less power. But the essentials are still there. The interior lighting followed the same principle. No multicolored LEDs or ambient lighting effects with themed scenes. The Model 2 delivers a single, soft, and functional lighting tone. Some may find it bland, others will say it's honest. But no one can deny that the environment still conveys a futuristic, clean vibe focused on the driving experience. Everything inside was designed to be simple, efficient, and distraction-free. The central screen continues to reign supreme on the dashboard, with updated and responsive software, 
including full FSD support. Even with these cost-cutting measures, Tesla hasn't removed what truly matters from the equation. The Model 2 still features the complete hardware package for autonomous driving. The front cameras are discreetly integrated into the body, and the sensors remain active to collect real-time data. Elon Musk has made it clear on several occasions, removing heated seats is fine. Removing FSD, never. After all, Tesla is betting its future on this technology, and the Model 2 is a crucial part of that bet. And it's precisely behind this simple look and streamlined interior that Tesla seems to be hiding its boldest move, a possible revolution in battery chemistry. The Model 2 may not only be the most affordable of the brand's electric vehicles, it could also be the first Tesla in history to completely abandon lithium. The bet? An aluminum-ion battery. Cheaper, lighter, more stable, and, if the leaks are true, capable of delivering up to 300 miles of range with just 53 Khalidubadi Durban. This changes everything, literally everything. Until now, LFP batteries were the standard for affordable versions of the Model 3 and Model Y. They were reliable, durable, and much cheaper than NCA and NMC batteries. But even LFP has its limits, especially when the goal is to bring the price below the $15,000 mark. That's where aluminum comes in, an absurdly abundant element, about a thousand times more common than lithium and much cheaper to extract and process. The idea of using it as the basis for a new generation of batteries seemed too futuristic, but suddenly it doesn't anymore. The basis of the technology is simple to understand, even for those who aren't fans of chemistry. While lithium carries only one positive proton per ion, aluminum carries three. In other words, an aluminum ion moves three times more electrical charge. This means more current, faster charging speed, and greater energy density. And, amazingly, without the same thermal risks that lithium carries in extreme situations. If the prototype numbers are confirmed, we are facing something with twice the energy capacity of current systems and with less weight. Internal Tesla rumors suggest that this new fuel cell could be produced at a cost approximately $2,000 cheaper per pack compared to LFP. This alone would justify the choice. But there's more. Aluminum is much more easily recyclable, aligning the Model 2 with the company's long-term sustainability plans. Tesla isn't just creating a cheap car. It's shaping the foundation for a much cleaner, more stable production chain, more independent of commodity market instability. The most intriguing thing is that, despite the speculation, Elon Musk neither confirmed nor denied this adoption. He left the door ajar, as he usually does when he wants to generate anticipation before a major event. The fact is that, with the price war heating up and the pressure from BYD growing stronger, Musk needed something more than design and assembly efficiency. He needed a new invisible weapon that would revolutionize the heart of EVs, the battery. If the Model 2 does indeed debut with an aluminum ion battery pack, it would mean that Tesla has not only abandoned lithium, but has also overcome all the obstacles that kept this technology off the streets. Until now, Aluminum was seen as promising but unstable, difficult to control, with an uncertain life cycle. Tesla, it seems, has solved this, and not in a top-of-the-line model, but precisely in the brand's cheapest car. The irony is delicious.